Hello guys, welcome to Tech Tricks. In today's video, we'll be talking about installing UFW and configuring it for your Ubuntu based computer. So UFW basically stands for uncomplicated firewall and it lets you add as many rules as you want using your IP tables to drop or accept the traffic based on whether you would like to allow it or not. Now, if you are into DevOps and if you would like to make sure your server is safe and secure, you should make sure you have UFW installed and has all those rules based on what traffic you would like to accept or what traffic you would like to drop to avoid any kind of unauthenticated access. So let's just get started. The very first thing to make sure here is that you have UFW installed and you can do that by using sudo apt install UFW. So as you can see here, UFW is already the newest version. So we are good to go. Now, next thing to check is the status of UFW. And as you can see, it's inactive. Also make sure that before you enable or add the rules, your UFW is inactive to make sure you don't interrupt your existing as such connection. Now, next use case can be that, let's say you would like to block an IP you are getting DDoS from or any other kind of attack. You can just do that by using sudo UFW deny from and then IP. So let's say I'm disabling an IP call this. So as you can as you can see the IP is added and it's denied. Now I can do the same thing for any subnet as well by specifying the subnet. Now let's say you'd like to allow a particular IP. You can do that by allow from and then the IP name. So this will allow the particular IP. Now Let's say you would like to see all those app lists that you have installed on your computer that UFW supports directly by specifying the app name. So you can do that by using sudo UFW app list. And as you can see, we have Nginx installed. Nginx full will allow all the traffic that comes to Nginx, whether it be port 80 or 443. So now I can run UFW allow and then Nginx full. This is going to allow Nginx both these rules, port 80 and 443. I can do the same thing by specifying port as well, which can be allow 443 or allow 80, which is already done. So we are good. Now, the next thing is we can also do the same thing for any other service. So, for example, you have this PostgreSQL install or maybe MySQL. So, let's take an example of PostgreSQL. So as you can see Postgres installed, so let's just uh, allow an IP from Postgres. So to do that, you're going to run sudo ufw allow from then your IP to any port 5432. This will allow request from the app server from this IP to our port 5432. And as you can see, this is done as well. So now the another use case can be that you would like to block your SMTP server from sending any outgoing email because SMTP runs on port 25. You can always block port 25 from sending out any traffic outside. To do that, you can do UFW deny and out and then the port number, which is 25. So that's done as well. So now let's, let's enable the UFW and let's see what kind of rules we have in. So it's enabled. Now I'm going to do UFW status. As you can see, we have all these rules already configured. So you can simply enable now. So it's already enabled, looks like. Let me just double check. Okay, it's enabled and running. So we are good to go. Now, the next thing is, let's say you would like to find out more and read more about all those particular syntax available. You can do that using the manual command, which is man UFW, and it's gonna give you the complete manual of this particular command. Hope you liked the video. If you would have any questions do ask in the comment section if you like the video make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new thank you so much and we look forward to see you again in the next video thank you